This month, Crunchyroll released a trailer announcing that Studio A1 Pictures is making an anime adaptation that's coming out very soon, and so I decided to make a video explaining exactly what it is and why you should watch it. I am almost certain when this anime series gets posted to Crunchyroll, it'll top whatever anime is on top of the charts. And so, I'm gonna let you make the decision, I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know about solo leveling, and tell me in the comments what you think. Do you think that this is gonna be the greatest show of the year, or will it fail? Solo leveling is a lot like our world current day, but it is composed of hunters who team up to enter portals to dungeons. Both hunters and dungeons have pretty much the same ranking system. The ranks go from S being the highest rank and E being the lowest. Both appeared after the awakening and ever since the dungeons have been a huge revenue source for the world economy. They provide all sorts of rare gems and if defeated monsters and bosses drop all sorts of expensive items and weapons. The story is about Jin Woo, who had to come up with a way to pay for his mom who was in a coma. The best way to keep his mother alive was to work for a guild and get money for raiding dungeons. Unfortunately, Sung Jin Woo is an E-ranked hunter, and at a total of 10 mana he is the weakest hunter the test giver has ever seen. The lowest E-ranked hunters are about 70 mana. Mana levels aren't like in other anime. It appears leveling the mana stat isn't anything that a person can do besides receiving a second awakening. Hunters come in various forms, which works well because they enter portals in squads of at least 10. There are rangers, assassins, mages, fighters, tankers, healers. Whenever he entered the D or E ranked dungeon, he would always take up the resources of the healers in his party and he would receive the fewest gems and money of the group. Also, he has to deal with the social struggle of being the most undesirable rank. His mana isn't just 10, but all of his stats are so low that he isn't stronger in any way to a, a regular person. He isn't a tank or an assassin or any of that. The incident takes place starting just as a typical day where Chi Yo, a C-ranked hunter who leads, B-ranked healer Jo Hee, and the rest of the party go dungeon raiding, except before defeating the boss, they find doors leading to another dungeon. Chi Yul asks for a group decision to leave and report it, or go in and see what's inside. It was a hard choice. Dumble dungeons were that of legend, but they felt confident since the dungeon was only a D rank. The dungeon greets them with this massive room and this Abraham Lincoln sized statue and statues scattered all around the room. On one of the statues is a scroll that lists commandments. They've become trapped and people start dying. Those who remain standing died. Jin Wu making sense of what he just read. 1. Thou shalt praise the Lord. This isn't a room where they can fight. This is a game of death. Finding what each commandment means while the statue is killing the 17 of them off, leaving 6 to remain to solve the final commandment, thou shalt prove your faith. Chi Yul sees the altar, expecting the dungeon needs a sacrifice. Feeling guilty as the party leader, he walks to the altar to sacrifice himself. But when he stepped on the altar, a flame was created. At this point, Chi Yul and Jin Wu are missing limbs. As the whole group steps on the altar, a second row of blue flames appear around the altar and the chamber's doors open. Something happens if they stay on the altar, but nobody wants to be around for that. The last piece of information you should know is that the statues are now walking towards the altar, but if you stare at the statues, they won't move. The last of the party of 17 leaves through the large doors. After each person escapes, the chamber doors begin to close until even Ju He and Chai Yu leave Jin Wu to die alone in the dungeon. Just as Jin Wu is about to die, the last blue flame disappears, and Jin Wu alone beat the second dungeon. The last thing Jin Wu seen before he died was Welcome player. Waking up in the hospital just fine, Jin Wu finds his missing leg back and survivors who left them are fine, except for their injuries haven't healed and Chai Yu is still missing an arm. It is rare, but reawakenings do happen. There are people who have jumped to S rank from a lower one. Investigators are skeptical of the story and what happened, so they give Jin Wu a second mana test to find if it's the same as it was the first time. 
It was still ten. Reading the messages and alarms, Jinwoo realizes that if he does whatever the quest he's given by the system, then he will be rewarded moving up the ranks. From first E rank all the way to S rank. He will need to keep hiding his newly attained power level, making him one of the few false rankers. He will be hated by many people. Many S ranked people way stronger than him will want to see him dead. Eventually, even the system itself will come after him, because he is the only hunter with the ability to level up. This is going to begin airing within a year from now. The director cast for this has been working on Sword Anime Online, which is great because it's a similar genre, and SAO has a huge mass following. Another great talent with a leading role in this is the music composer, Hiroyuki Sawano who has produced soundtracks for Attack on Titan, Part 1 and 2, as well as multiple 7 Deadly Sin seasons. Right now, solo leveling is the most popular manhwa series, and I think it's going to be really easy adapting the manga into an anime that's going to send shockwaves like Demon Slayer did. I hope you enjoyed this video. Share it with your friends who are fans of solo leveling, and go watch my other videos on anime. Anyways, see ya.